All right, welcome back to the channel. It is time for another box break. And for this one, we are going to make a return to the 2020-21 OPG Platinum. And that there is a blaster exclusive from Walmart. And those will contain the blue surge cards, which I'll show you momentarily. I did have some on my recent group breaks and some pickups. So those will be revealed very shortly, as well as some very, very cool content, including... A redemption from upper deck so stay tuned for that and that is the reason why those two holders are in the background because they are going to showcase or feature a couple of showcase cards for this break so let's show some blue surge cards very quickly and then get to the goods and then we will get to the blaster box so here is artemi panarin that is a base mark stone base zach cassian john gibson Pecorine, Ryan Suter, and Matt Duchesne. As well as, those are base. I did happen to pick up a couple of marquee rookies. This one is Ty Smith. And Vitaly Kravtsov from this year's crop. So two of those rookies will join what we pull from the blaster. But we do have some fireworks. I did happen to pick up a Kirill Kaprizov Sunset. There you go, the sunset in the back, and that one is a very, very cool card. That one could very well be in the background, but we have some others that are going to trump that, in my personal opinion. Starting with this, Darnell Nurse, rookie card. That is a red prism from 2014-15. So there you are, numbered 106 to 135. I happen to pick that one up in an auction, so that one is going to be in the background. For this video, as well as this from Upper Deck, I did happen to get my redemption for 2019-20, the Matt Pink autograph card by Elvis Mers Leakin. So that one has been a bit of a wait, but now it's in my possession. Number 26 of 99, so there you are. Those two are going to be the showcase cards. Now let me just turn these a little bit here. There you go. Not too much glare, and I think we are ready to roll with the blaster box. So let's just get to that blaster box here. Slice open that packaging and get to the goods. So this will be a very quick break. Not a lot of packs in there. There are only four cards per pack and five packs per box. So if you are interested in some of the odds there we are i think those are now in focus so press pause and read that in your leisure otherwise let's get started here and open up five packs of this awesome product opg platinum 2020 21. now this packaging has been putting up a fight from the get-go so we're just gonna have to rip that a little more there and we finally get to the well we don't get to them but let's get to them now so there we are a little bit of a struggle there tj oshi base we have a best in the world sebastian aho pretty cool flashy card right there best in the world that will stay there and there we are with the blue surge Sebastian Ajo, so back to back. That will stay there. And we do have a Pekka Rene. So those two are base. Let's move those off to the side and get to the second pack. All right, so we did happen to pull some magic in terms of recent redemptions and some pickups in the background there. I certainly enjoy those cards. We have a William Carlson. Base, Adam Henrique. Base, Orion Nugent Hopkins Retro. And followed up with the marquee rookies of Nicholas Baudin. So there we are, a marquee rookies hit there. And I'm just going to double check on these base. Don't think any of those two are rainbow, and they aren't. So here we are, pack number three. Looking to build on the 2020-21 OPG Platinum. I will definitely get a list made up here. 
Looks to be a foil and perhaps a matte pink. And there we are. We've got a Kirill Kaprizov. So Kirill, the thrill, makes an appearance here in this blaster box. Now that is a very cool pull nonetheless. Connor Brown and upside down, we've got a sunset of Timothy Liljegren. So a little bit of Leafs flavor there. And upside down, we have a Sam Reinhardt. And those are the yellow tracks. So 62 of 249. So there we are. We are definitely pulling the fire with this blaster box. And I think it's because those showcase cards are bringing out the best in these packs. All right, so two packs to go. And we will do a very quick recap. So we have a blue surge, blue surge. We have a Ty Smith there. Marky Rookies, Josh, Josh Bailey, Jamie Ben, and we've got an Anders Lee Blue Surge. So there we are. And let's check these out because one of those, yes. I had a feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, that one of these were a rainbow. And this happened to be the rainbow. So Jamie Ben does get a bit of spotlight there in the hit cards and for last pack we've got Elias Lindholm we have got a Marky Rookies of Michael DiPietro JT Miller Blue Surge and we've got Alex Ovechkin rounding off the final pack so a lot of base but let's just do a quick recap I'm just going to move these Blue Surge off the way and I don't think we did happen to pull a Marky Rookie this time in the Blue Surge, but just uh, stay with me here and we will do a recap. Going to put the awesome cards at the back there and end off with those for my hits of the break. And there we are. So why don't you have a look at those two cards in the background once again. Let me get a drink of water here. So the redemption on the left, if you're just joining, of Elvis Merzlikin, that is the Merzlikins, that is the auto. Darnell Nurse, <clears throat> rookie card on the right. And so the blaster box recap here. So pardon me, Sebastian Ajo, Blue Surge, Anders Lee, JT Miller, Jamie Benn, Rainbow, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Retro, Sebastian Ajo, best in the world. Marky Rookies of Nicholas Bodan, Ty Smith, Michael DiPietro, Sam Reinhardt, Yellow Tracks, Numbered Card, and the hit of the box, we've got a Marky Rookies of Kirill Kaprizov, as well as a Sunset Timothy Liljegren. So we did happen to pull some fireworks here in this blaster box. So you let me know what you thought about the showcase cards and the cards that were pulled from the blaster box. Was it an awesome episode? Well, you let me know, like, comment, and subscribe for all that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with more content in the near future. Till then, bye for now.